pleasure to introduce the co-chairs of the Niagara Orleans Regional Alliance, also known as NORA. Niagara County Legislator David Godfrey and Orleans County Legislator Lynn Johnson. Working in partnership, they have promoted tourism, economic development, and natural gas line expansion. Their fight against the IJC's plan 2014 began in November 2011. Please welcome. Orleans County Legislator Lynn Johnson and Niagara County Legislator David Godfrey. So this fight started a long time ago. Back in 2011, it was then Plan 58DD, uh, and there was rumblings that the International Joint Commission was going to look at a new plan, and our legislators decided that uh, the two counties needed to look at this jointly, and appointed me um, for Orleans County, and appointed David from Niagara County and said, let's look at this together. We've got two shorelines. And Lake Ontario runs along multiple counties. And I wanted to take a minute because we had someone drive quite a long way from, we have the mayor of Sotus Point here. Would you stand up, Chris Turtner? Sodas Point is, and he was one of the ones that went to Washington, D.C. with us when uh, we fought Plan 2014. Thanks for coming this long distance tonight to be here. But uh, this affected um, six counties along the lake, so uh, there were many voices when we went to Washington, and we appreciated you making the trip. But um, David and I were... were um, assigned this back a long time ago, so I want you to know you had many elected officials working against Plan 2014 for a long period of time. Um, it's hard to believe, when you think about it, uh, that two bodies, two countries would get together um, a lot of uh, form a treaty put six people together to form this plan and and decide how the lake would be leveled I call it government at its worst there, there's no other way to to um, decide how to Canada when we first started to talk about this plan said don't harm us the way the Earth's curvature was, you know, don't harm us. Um, the South Shore Lake Ontario uh, would take the fall here. Do what, do what you may, but don't harm us. And really, that's that's the way it was going to be. So it, you know, Plan 2014 evolved, and uh, that's what we were up against. Now, as Lynn said, we started early on, and Congressman Collins called the IJC to his office right here locally. And Lynn and I went up to that meeting. It was a pretty short meeting. We all know Congressman Collins. He's pretty direct. And we, we talked back and forth. We kind of bantered back and forth and said, no, wait a minute. In here, you've admitted in your plan there will be disproportional damage. The Treaty of 1909 says you shall not cause disproportional damage. If you do, you have to mitigate that with money, which they said they don't have. Congressman Collins was fairly quiet as Lynn and I kind of battered back and forth and said, we need to change this plan because it's not fair. We're going to get the fund. Montreal says don't hurt us. This is not fair. Congressman Collins, within a short time, as he always does, stop. I've heard enough. And he said, we may play the Miami Dolphins in Buffalo. We may entertain them and have a beer at the table. 
We may even feed them a sandwich, sandwich, but we intend to feed them on the field. Get out of my office. And that's exactly what he said. And that was in 2012. And the last meeting we had, and we've had many of those, the Congressman Collins had a large group, Billy Chris, um, in the Capitol, in a conference room in the Capitol building on June the 27th. And the IJC had the nerve to send their press person. They didn't show. But we had. We had FEMA, we had the Army Corps, and all of us. And Chris, uh, Congressman Collins, and Congressman Catco, the next out in the lake, and Congressman Tini from the far east end of her lake were all there. And we met and said we need to sink this plan once and for all. And in that meeting, we did learn. There was a question here about events. This event started with the first storm. According to the FEMA people, we sat directly across from them, that what happens for, if this happens again and again, there's going to be more storms this year. Even not talking about next year. They said the way the declaration works is this is a continuing number of events. Once a declaration is given, there will be multiple events. So it will continue. There will be separate events. There will be separate funding. But they do not close the door on us once that declaration was done. They sat there, and Chris will attest to this at that table, and still tell us that it was environmental conditions uh, that, that created this. But let's go back now to the way Plan 2014 went down. Uh, we met multiple times, David and I, in Washington with the Department of State. Now, the Department of State is who formed the International Joint Commission. And we met with them and proved their documents, the International Joint Finding, um, was incorrect. We showed them, I mean, they, the International Joint Commission came to the Department of State with documents where their findings, the only losses that they showed was some dollar amount that showed Monroe County could suffer up their cruise industry, which was the ferry that was at that point going across Lake Ontario. That was the evidence that they documented and showed to the Department of State. It was so outdated and um, lacking in information. That's what was provided to the Department of State. We went with letters of opposition, even from the shipping industry, that we delivered to the Department of State, showing them that this Plan 2014 was so refutable that it, it should not be passed. The shipping companies, people say, well, this is for the shippers. They were against it because Plan 2014 calls for higher highs and lower lows. Lower lows in the shipping season means they do not put the tonnage on. So they don't make the money. The money from their tonnage actually goes into the coffers, which is where the IJC is supposed to draw the money from. There's $6 billion sitting there from the shipping companies. But yet, for some reason, we can't touch that. Well, there's letters after letters from the shippers that don't do that because you're ruining our industry. All of this was totally ludicrous. It was false. And Lynn said some of the data, the assessed values that they figured was going to be the losses, were based on 2,000 assessment data. 2,000. It was totally out of date. And how much change on your properties have been since 2,000? So the whole thing was just, it, it was horrible. But they set their side. Your elected officials did their homework. Um, Senator Ort did his homework. Assemblyman Norris did his. Assemblyman Hawley in our county. But all six counties along the lake shore proved over and over again to the Department of State that the International Joint Commission's Plan 2014 should not be passed. 
And in the dead of night, in late November, under the final President Obama's regime, Plan 2014 was signed. So, like I said, it was government at its worst. What we need to do is continually fight this, or we will see with heavy rainfalls and depending on the winters we have, repeat of what we went through this, this summer. So it's imperative that you write the letters that Assemblyman Norris has spoken of, that Senator Ord had asked you to do. Um, Congressman Collins is working uh, in the background to get your international joint commissioners replaced. In fact, we're hoping very much that one is sitting in your audience tonight and is making a presentation for you. Um, it's imperative that you support your elected officials. They are working diligently to get this rectified. Just a couple then comments on the weather. They said it was the weather. We know it wasn't. As we heard earlier, five to nine inches of additional rain. We know they did not drain the lake early, as they always done under the old plan. So they did not drain it to anticipate the, the rain, rainfalls and the snow melt. And a lot of you may have received the, the leveler. Okay, this comes out almost weekly, and Tony McKenna uh, is part of that. And one of those issues, this year we had 15.64 inches of rain between June and April. 15.64. In 2011, we had 15.3. We didn't flood. In, two, in 1990, we had 15.7 higher. We didn't flood. In 1973, we had 30 inches of rain, and we got some floods. So it's more to remember today. But in 1980, we had 19 and a half inches of rain. It didn't flood. What's the difference? Don't tell me it's the rainfall. The DEC, in a news article, admitted that Plan 2014 contributed to the lake levels that we have out there. Today, um, I just got from one of the authors of the leveler who tracks our, our lake constantly. Our lake is now at 246.65. That's above sea level. The average at this time is 245.3 which means the lake is 15.7 inches above where it should be. Now, used to, people say, well, the lake is way down. Look at, my, look at my beach. I got 10 feet of beach. That's only three inches of water. It's the beach. the beach. We are 15.7 inches still above where we should be. The trigger points, which have been proven to be wrong, Mr. McKenna will speak about those, we are slightly below the trigger point. So they have stopped letting the water run. This article today in the Buffalo News tells you they've stopped letting the water out. Look at your property. Look at your break walls. This is not over. So where are we right now? As we said, we've got a state plan 2014. We've got to get the commissioners replaced. And we have the resignations from the two that were remaining. But we have to say that the next year, if we don't, According to the analysis done by one of the working group members of the predecessors to Plan 2014, when he analyzed this year's event, if we don't change it in spring, we will have 12 more inches more than we had this year. This was statistically calculated by one of the working group members who took this year's event and said, if this doesn't change, on spring we will have an additional 12 inches top of it today. Folks, we got to fight. Make sure you get your permits filed and your applications in. Thank you. Thank Continue you. to fight.